Nice. And of course I take the German expedition knife. Ooh. Ah. Hey guys, here is once more Sa, and today I'm gonna show you the most sold German beer brand and this here is the Pilsner from Oettinger. Very big brand. It's a very cheap beer. You only pay 30 to 40 cents for this. European cents of course, because I'm from Germany. And well, you will find lots of people, they will say, Oettinger, it's not a good beer. Oh, it tastes like shit and oh, you cannot drink it. it tastes like piss. It's so oh, disgusting. And if they make a blind test and comparison, even their favorite beer, you can see sometimes they don't recognize even the Oettinger. And they even mistake it for their favorite beer. I've seen this in a documentary. And now we will taste. I think we begin with the pills. And of course I take the German expedition knife. Ah, the pills, I know it very well. Because I often bought it. And why is this beer so cheap? Well, they use a hop extract. But that is in lots of more expensive beers too in Germany. They just made their work very efficient. So the bottle is very cheap, I think. The label is not very luxurious and... Well, they don't take many different fancy malts for this beer and so they save a lot of money. They don't do any advertising and so it's very cheap. And it has one of the best cost effectiveness. So you get very much for your money. Here is the color. And on my German channel, this was my best video for a long time and I said it tastes very good very malty and I find it very good now too it's a bit bitter and pills is just made for companies that want to produce very cheap because a pills doesn't have to be very aromatic and with lots of flavors in it A pills just have to be, I think, a little bit malty, has to be good to drink, not too much bitterness that doesn't leave the mouth and just good for a hot day so you can drink it, not too much aroma, not too much spiciness, but a good beer flavor, a bit bitterness. So you have this kind of resistance in the back of your mouth, but it won't last forever. So very good beer. It's very drinkable and very cheap. Now the next one. <laughs> Many Germans, especially elder folks, they would say this is a beer for children. Because it has very much sugar in it and even color. This is a wheat beer with grapefruit. So half of this bottle is wheat beer and the other half is pretty much grapefruit lemonade. So I will try it now. Ah! It went into my eye. Ah. Very dangerous job here to show you the German beer. I think the beer god wanted to take my eye, but I will resist and I will tell you Oettinger is a very good brand of beer and cheap. Not the best beer of course, but it's okay. So yeah, this tastes like grapefruit, 
is a bit opaque and the color is very orange. I don't think grapefruit is orange, but this here is orange. Yeah, has a bit bitterness. I don't know if it's from the grapefruit or the hops. Yeah, I think it could have more CO2 in it. Could be more carbonated, but it's okay. Yeah, there are citrus aromas. I don't know if it's grapefruit. Uh, could be lemon and mandarin too, or lime or stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's sweet. I don't know, some people drink it for refreshing in the summer. I don't really like it. I'd rather have a lean pills. That's my opinion. But, okay, for the kids, <laughs> it may be very good. Here another thing for the kids. And I drank this a lot as a kid. Well, not as a kid, but when I was 15. And yes, that is very far from the US drinking age. But in Germany, you can drink beer with 16 years. And now I will be careful. Aha, now it won't open at all. Ooh. So this here is beer and cola mixed. And I remember when I was 15, we walked around in the village. Yes, I come from a small village. Ooh. And we drank this uh, brand of cola and beer and it was pretty good. I would drink it today, but it contains lots of sugars, of course, and I don't want to put too much sugar in me. You know what my sister always says? I don't want to think about her right now. You see it in the Jack Daniels Tennessee Fire review and yeah, it smells very good. Smells pretty much like the cola beer that I know from my childhood, early juvenile time. Mm. It's very much cola, not 50% cola and 50% beer, of course. Yeah, I don't know. It's a standard cola beer, as I thought. Uh, has not this special taste from this mixery cola beer that I drank as a kid. The Germans among you will know what I mean, maybe. But it's good. And it's very cheap. For 30 cents or so you get this in nearly every German supermarket. And now we drink this dark wheat beer. Hmm. And you see here, they have this very simple lids here and they are just gold and the more expensive German beers always have some uh, printings on it or some colors, but here not. So here the dark wheat beer, we will try that now and I like wheat beer very much. And when I was 16 or 17, I don't know, I thought I was pretty cool because I always drank dark wheat beer. Just like those vegans today who order a vegan meal, they find they are very cool. <sighs> but I'm off that age now. And I will say to you what I think about this with the experience of very much beer drinking in the last 20 years. But not too much, of course, because Saar is very smart. Ah, the wheat beer in Germany, it has always this uh, Bodensatz. So there is stuff on the bottom of the bottle. I have to take another cup so that you can see it and I have to shake the rest in the bottle a little bit so that you can see it gets foggy. It's 
It is not opaque right now, but it gets opaque when I put the rest in here. Now you can see tiny particles, huh? So it's a little bit murky. And why is this beer dark? Because they put roasted malt in it. So when they dry the malt, they use a higher temperature. But I saw lots of darker beers than this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Tastes very different from the big brands of wheat beer in Germany, like Paulana, Franziskaner, Schneiders Weiße, Erdinger. And I think it's not so good. It's a bit too simple, too one-dimensional. It's good for drinking fast, but has not very much to offer, I think. It's not bad at all, but I'm used to better wheat beer in Germany. Or as you say, Weiss beer in Germany. So, white beer. I don't even know why it's called like that. It is mostly rather brown or a little bit orange or yellow. It's never white, but it is called white beer. Weiss beer. Yes, it's okay. For a dark wheat beer, it has not very much roasted flavors in it. I can smell nearly nothing. In Paulana and other wheat beers, you can smell banana and stuff and maracuya and other fruit flavors. Banana and stuff, but here I... Uh, there's nearly nothing. Although I drink it warm right now. To get more flavor, of course. I only smell some maltiness. But I would drink that if I were in a restaurant or so. It's not the best. And if I was in a more expensive restaurant, I would expect a better wheat beer. But it's okay. For this price, you get a beer without any mistake in smell or in taste at all well of course some beer experts will say the opposite but i think if you're on a budget you can drink this here or here other videos from me don't let anyone tell you what your taste should be you have to know what tastes good for you and the best way to find out is try it No, the pills is better, I think. Bye, people.